Hello guys, my name is Arman and I teach you how to create anything you want in Rhino using different methods and uh, I can promise you that this software is the easiest software that you can learn and it uh, takes actually not more than 7 days to uh, become a master uh, on uh, 3D modeling in Rhino. This is my Instagram page and as you can see we have different models here which I created them only uh, using Rhino and for the render part I uh, brought the models from Rhino to Max or uh, Lumion for the final render. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to create uh, this tower and uh, one more thing that I want to say is that most of the models you see in this page are uh, mainly my own concepts and uh, I developed them and uh, made a final 3D model out of them. So uh, for this uh, project you should know that uh, some principles of uh, the process that we are going to make in uh, 3D modeling. So the first one is that as you can see this tower has a uh, curved Mm, facade and uh, the, the main uh, commands that we use for it is mm, creating the baselines with curves and after that creating the surfaces uh, and at the final uh, step we will make a twist for the whole project so uh, I open a Rhino and start the process of modeling so for the first step I type point and hit enter then uh, I'll type the coordinates of my point which is 0 0 0 0 comma 0 comma 0 and enter so after creating the first point uh, we should create the rectangle which is our base plane so I type rec and hit space and click on center and then click my point and for example uh, something like this but before that I click on rounded because I want uh, curved uh, points at the corner so like this and then like that okay and then I click on this curve uh, one thing we should learn here is that if I create a copy from this um, and extrude it with this circle we have here as you can see we have our surface divided in uh, many parts and these ISO curves are showing the parts that are created on the surface it's not a, a good um, approach to create this surface because it has uh, a splitted surfaces if I explode it you can see that we have different parts on this surface it will make some problems for us in the future steps that we are going to uh, take. So I click on this curve and before creating my surface I type rebuild because I want to uh, change the construction of this surface. So as you can see we have 100 points uh, as a default uh, division for this curve. It's too much. I change it to for example uh, 60 and I can see that it's cleaner than before and I hit OK so now if I extrude it with this circle you can see that it's a surface uh, which is not splitted by these uh, by any ISO curves on this surface so that's gonna be alright I just want to um, know the distance between the base and the top so I type distance hit enter click on this point and this point it's 4.32 so I delete this and again I create the surface by clicking on this circle and type 4.2 for example and after that I will make a flat surface out of this surface we have here so I type unroll surface and hit a space uh, click my surface uh, 
and right click to have the surface uh, become flat on the C plane. So after that, I type duplicate edge or dupe edge to create a curve out of this uh, surface edge we have here. Right click to have the curve and type divide to make uh, a division on this curve. For example, 30, let's see what happens here. Uh, I think it's good, the number is good. And I will uh, draw a line here from this point to this uh, here and another one here. Okay, now we have to create those uh, curtain walls or windows. Uh, I actually draw a polyline here. And I don't draw a line here because when this uh, when this unrolled surface becomes the uh, target surface which is here, the uh, start point of this surface which will be here and the end point will be here too. So one of them should um, have a thickness and the other one should not have it. So uh, I. Mm, I uh, want to create the polyline here and not here. So I click on this new curve and type offset. Uh, and I think 0 0.1 will be good and make sure that your cap option is on flat and not none. It should be flat. And I click here to get this polyline. And I, uh, I should extrude this polyline uh, in both sides. So I type extrude and then choose the both side. Sh uh, it should be yes. And I um, disable the OS snap to have uh, an easy way to extrude it and not a snap to any other parts. For example, like this. And again, I type rectangle and I will draw one from here to here, select it and again extrude it in both sides. We want it as our uh, glass panels, for example like that. And then I change the layer of it to layer, to layer 0 which is blue and click on this and change it to this layer one which is red and choose both of them and click on group after that I want the whole window here so I type rectangle and draw my window here click on it offset here and Extrude it in both sides and again the inside rectangle extrude to this level and then change it to the glass panels and this frame should be in this layer and again make both of them grouped okay now we have to array this window we have here, so I uh, click on this and hit on linear array. Uh, we should define the number of the array and uh, I think 29 is the correct one. Click on uh, this reference and then click on this one. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, correctly flowed on my surface. Uh, before going to any other comments, I go to selection tools and then click on select last created objects, which are these. Uh, hold shift and click this window and this window and then click on group. Okay. Uh, next step is to flow these objects to this surface. So I go to uh, flow along surface and I will click 
the uh, objects that I want to flow on the surface which are these panels and after that I will click on the base surface which is the unrolled surface of this one and after the selection of uh, the first base plane I will select the target plane which is this okay now we have it on this surface uh, I will go down there and click on this curve uh, I will offset this uh, and click on mm, throw throw point or type T space and then you can easily uh, define how far you want to this uh, you want this offset go so I click on here and then I click on this type extrude I don't want it in both sides so uh, uncheck the both sides and for example it can be like that and then I click on this and this and make a group. I go to uh, front and I will make a copy from it or an uh, array command will be good. So I go here and then linear array. These are my objects and I wonder for example in uh, 10 floors and then I will go from this point to this point I think it's it's not uh, it's not enough so again I hit on uh, array and then type for example 20 and uh, I will go from, for example, this part to this part. Okay, I go to perspective and you can see that our tower is created. I just want another slab up here or I can easily just ungroup this and then delete this part. Okay, and I click all of them, make a group. Like that. And then I move it here. I hit duplicate edge. I want this border out and create a centroid of it, which uh, the command area centroid will do it for us. And type L enter V enter and uh, draw your twist axis. Okay, and now change the viewport to wireframe to have this line uh, here. And then I click on twist, type twist. It will ask asks us, um, it will ask us how to twist my uh, model. So I click here. And then here. And then I can easily rotate my project. That's it. And as you can see, my project is twisted in. Uh, this axis I can go to Arctic view okay um, and after that you can change the material of this glass panels by 
going to this uh, model material here change it and go to for example a color like this and have some transparency reflectivity and gloss finish okay as you can see we have our project twisted like this okay I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, make sure that you have trained well by uh, watching these tutorials and if you have any um, questions you can write down in the uh, comment section and I will answer your questions have a great day and stay tuned for my next tutorials on my channel